In this video, I'll teach you how to bake the details of a high poly mesh onto a low poly mesh using the new baking screen in Substance Painter 8.3. I'll have a Google Drive link in the description in case you want to use this exact model. First, we've got to export our low and high poly models out of Blender. If you're using Maya or 3ds Max, this process might be slightly different. We'll start with a low poly. So hide the high and select the low. Then, go up here to File, Export, and FBX. Once you're on this screen, there are a few things to check before exporting. Make sure to check Selected Objects Only, and name it something appropriate, with the correct formatting for your workflow. Formatting is very important for various programs and industry pipelines, so it's good to get in the habit now. We'll now do the same with the high poly, so hide the low, select the high, and export as FBX. Use the same formatting as before, but change the suffix to high. Now we've exported the files, open up Substance Painter, go to File, New, and select the low poly we just exported. The document resolution should be appropriate to the model, so a background item would be lower and a hero item would be bigger. For me, I'm going to select 2K. Movement in the viewport is all done using Alt. Alt left click is rotate, Alt middle click is to move, and Alt right click is to zoom. Although you can also just use the scroll wheel to zoom. As you can see, the low poly doesn't have any surface detail yet. So we'll move to the baking tab. There are a few ways of accessing it. The old way was to go to texture set settings and scroll down to bake mesh maps. But that method is slow and clunky. There's also a croissant button at the top right that will take you there faster. Or you can use the shortcut F8 to get there instantly. Click this little file icon here to open the high poly. Now we're ready to set up the baking. Before baking for real, it's always worth doing a test bake at a lower resolution. The resolution can be changed here. For now, let's leave it at 512. The next thing we want to do is change the max frontal distance. You'll notice as I tweak this value, the cage gets bigger and smaller. You want to make sure your cage is as small as possible without showing any red errors. If the cage is too big, it will warp your bake. The next slider is the rear distance. This is normally fine on default, but you can tweak it if you're getting some errors with crevices. If you only want certain mesh maps, you can uncheck them here. Opacity is sometimes helpful if you've got holes in the high poly that you want baked onto the low on the texture. Anti-aliasing can be handy. I'll let you decide if you want to use it or not. If you've got a more complex model, sometimes it's worth baking by mesh name so that you don't end up baking onto the wrong mesh. This can be done by changing match from always to by mesh name. But since this is one mesh, I'll leave this setting as default. Now we've tweaked the settings and we're happy with them, we can click Bake Selected Textures. This might take a while depending on your hardware. Once that's done, let's return to the Painting tab. This can be done by pressing this button here, the paintbrush up here, or the keyboard shortcut F9. Back in the Painting tab, let's check the normal map by using this drop down menu here. Scroll down and under Mesh Maps, select this normal. Don't confuse it with the single channel normal, which only does painted on normals and not the mesh map normals. I'm quite happy with this normal bake, so I'm going to check the ambient occlusion map using the same drop down menu. A common baking error I get is dark black bits on the edge of cylinders on the ambient occlusion map. This is usually because the low and high silhouettes are too different and it can be fixed by lowering or removing a subdivision modifier on the high poly mesh. If you're unhappy with the bake, you can tweak the settings in the baking window for a cleaner result. But sometimes you need to go back into Blender and fix them there. If that's the case, when you export, make sure you overwrite the right file. In Substance, you can easily re-import the mesh under the Edit tab, or you can use Control shift r as the keyboard shortcut. Since I'm happy with my test bake, I'm going back to the baking window and changing the output size 
to one size larger than my texture resolution. In my case, this would be 4K. Since I've changed the output size, I need to change the dilation width. Let's go with 128. This will take longer than your test bake, which is why we test bake at a lower resolution. Here are the results once everything's baked. And here are the results with a very quick texture. To export the textures, go to File and Export Textures, or use the shortcut Control shift e Here you can select a template. The default is fine for what we're doing, but if you want to channel pack for Unreal or use an alpha map, make sure to select the right template. Make sure you have the right location selected, then click Export. You'll know it's done when all of these turn teal. You can open the output directory here. For now, save to close. Here's what it looks like in Blender. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.